Last time I remember seeing Brody, we were in Japan. And uh, I don't know if I would tell this one to you <laughs> on an interview or not. But you know, Brody, he liked to bring in the uh, he liked the herb, if you know if you know what I mean. And uh, how he snuck it in Japan had to had the balls enough to bring it in Japan is beyond me, but he did. And so uh, back then, I would protect a little the herb too. So me and him, Stan, he he just got by, got a contact. And so after the matches, we already had a couple of beers and we we toked up a few. So we want to go out and get some noodles. <laughs> Middle of the night. Tokyo, Japan. We go out. We found this little noodle stand. We we're coming back, and all of a sudden we heard this singing coming out of a bar. Well, it seemed like Harley Race and Hector Guerrero was over there for the other group, and they were in this bar, and that and that's when karaoke. You know, karaoke hit over there a long time before it did here. And we went by and looked in the window, and there was Harley sitting at the desk or at the t bar, and Hector was up at the, at the karaoke machine singing. So, of course, we just made the U-turn right in there. So this guy that owned the bar had lived in Amarillo. So he was trying to impress us. You know, he was an American. Here come the tequila. Oh, I hate tequila. <laughs> Anyhow, Harley, you know, I don't know if you know Harley Race. He's a party animal and Brody and Stan. So we start out with the shots. Next thing I know, it's water glasses. Dad gave him tequila. Oh, <laughs> I'll never forget. We finally said, "Boys, we got to catch a bus in the morning." And me and old uh, Harley's come out at the same time. Well, we're going. Harley said, "I look, I look like a tin soldier marching behind him, just going back <laughs> to the room." And I know I should have, but I didn't. I didn't do the throw. I didn't stick the finger down the throat to puke that crap up, boy. And the next morning, here they come knocking on the door. Ron, Ron, Ron. The bus is down here. I said, "Screw it, I ain't going. Leave me here." No, you gotta go. I said, "I ain't opening that door." So Stan, he goes down and gets the room key from the desk, and they come out. He opens up the door and said, Ron, you got to go. I said, leave me. I ain't going. Oh, I was so <laughs> sick. Oh, God. So what he did in Japan, believe it or not, you can still open the windows on those high-rises of these hotels. Of course, it's April and May, and it's still cold over there. He opened up that window, and that cold wind hit me, and son, I had to puke. And Stan was turning between me and the bathroom, so I couldn't get through him to get to the bathroom. But I saw that open window. And son, I'm on the fourth or fifth floor, and I just pewed that sidewalk. I had people running and moving and going every which way, but I heaved hold right out that window. <laughs> but I got feeling a little bit better then. So I get dressed, I get on that bus, and here I go again. Boy, they finally give me a tip, set me on front of the bus with a trash can, I puked my guts up at night. <laughs> Oh, I was so sick that whole day and got to the matches. That night I had, of all people, that gun, Gene Kaninsky. You know Gene Kaninsky? You're talking about a machine. Oh, and I said, boys, why'd y'all do this to me? And there ain't nothing worth this. But we went out there and had a pretty good time. It worked out pretty good. But I've never, ever, ever touched tequila again. Never <laughs> will. Oh, I paid for it on that tour in Japan. Oh, man, Brody. <laughs> What are you talking about, Brody? You know, I got to go to the same little girl over there. He got to play her. Really? Oh, yeah, that was funny. She, she thought she was playing me and him, but we knew all along. Of course, we talked about it. Hey, you can have her now. I'm going here, blah, blah, blah. And then five before we left, we got her to the same room. Boy, she didn't know what to do. That was a good story. Oh, Brody. <laughs> Missed the boy. He's a good guy.